I have here a layout that I created in order to show um, you how to do a blending, uh, vignette, or feathering technique on a layout. Um, there are lots of techniques and ways that you can blend a photo um, into the background as you can see um, this photo of mine has done. Uh, but this is probably the most classic way, the most original way, and probably the most easiest way. And uh, it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make all of my layers inv invisible except for uh, my original photo layer and the background layer so I can show you how how this is done. You would go up here to get your uh, rectangular or elliptical marquee tool so you can make a square or a circle with this. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the uh, elliptical and set your feathering. Just simply highlight it and type in uh, the chosen number and um, the highest number I believe you can go is 250 pixels and that's actually what I used for my layout and um, then you're going to draw your selection over your photo now if I draw a selection let me just show you that is really close to the edges let me zoom in of the photo this um, isn't going to be as effective as if I had made this circle smaller. Uh, that is because you, if you would imagine in your head that the feathering is going to uh, be starting at this uh, edge of the selection and uh, feathering outward and since there isn't a whole lot of room to uh, fade out before it hits the edge um, it's not going to be as effective and, and I'm going to go ahead and, and finish this technique using this circle here so that you can see. Uh, let's see, make sure that the uh, photo layer is your active layer and then just hit control J on your keyboard. I'm going to go back and make uh, the original photo layer invisible by clicking on this eye and now you can see that um, I have automatically blended uh, this photo into the background but as I was pointing out to you you can still see the edges of the photo fairly well um, and that's because we were too close to the edges so I'm going to hit the undo button and I'm just going to draw this in quite a bit further and I'm going to hit control J and you can see here it made a big difference um, down here uh, I did very well it blends right in you can still see that line up here in the top but sometimes uh, you you may want that you may want it to all look like this so you would just hit that back button and, and try again um, but having that part of that line there is is artistic and so uh, this certainly will work. Let's hit the undo button again. Um, of course if you're doing it with this method you have to type in uh, the number of the feather uh, before you draw your selection. You can't draw this selection and then go up here and change the feathering. Um, it just does not work that way. However, let's um, put this on uh, zero and go ahead and um, go to the next method. Uh, as my tutorial shows you, um, there are m always more than one way to uh, complete a task uh, and you'll find uh, the way that works best for you by playing around that one that you're most comfortable with. So I'm going to go ahead and draw another selection on my photo just as I did before but note that the feathering is zero. This time I'm going to right click on the selection and then I'm going to choose feather and there's going to be a pop-up box and I will type in here uh, the radius of my feather. Um, we've been using 250. I'm going to click OK and you saw that the uh, selection actually got smaller. 
um, then I'm going to continue as I was doing before and hit Control J on the keyboard and you can see there it makes a fine selection. Let's hit that undo button again. Um, let me go ahead and show you once more that you can also go to the select drop down menu and you'll find the feather here. You'll note um, by that uh, there's an Alt Control D and those would be if this is a technique that you use often those would be the keyboard shortcuts that you can uh, memorize and just hit Alt Control D um, to bring up the feather box so we will just try that I'm going to draw my selection and an Alt Control D brings up that feather box and let's say this time maybe I wanted 150 in there just uh, so we can see what it looks like to be different and hit control J and you can see there is another nice selection of a different kind let's hit the undo button I want to continue to show you uh, the various methods that you can uh, utilize to do this in this case we're going to draw that selection right click let's put that feather on there we're going to right click again and um, select inverse and now we have instead of having um, the area inside the photo selected um, we have uh, selected the area outside of the selection I'm sorry I said inside the photo but inside the selection instead of having the area inside the selection I think I'm getting tongue twisted selected we have the area outside the selection selected if you followed that <coughs> okay um, now uh, rather than hitting control J I can either hit the backspace key or the delete key on my keyboard and it's going to feather it however um, as you noticed on uh, the layers palette it did not create a new layer it actually um, deleted and edited um, our original photo um, that's why I prefer to use the control J method is because it preserves that original uh, photo layer so I don't have to bring it in if I goof up uh, in order to restart but this certainly um, also gives a another kind of another whole look uh, to this uh, blending and so if you cannot arrive at um, the kind of blending you want um, doing the control J method you might just want to try your hand at this one uh, because it it does kind of blend just a, a slightly different than the other method and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the undo button again before you would do that uh, last method I would suggest just duplicating the original and then um, when you go to apply it that technique we feathered it we inversed it and we hit delete on the keyboard and um, you'll see then I have the uh, an extra original here in case I just want to delete this one because I don't like it and so I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, bring back up the rest of my layout again so you can see it once more now that now that you've seen it um, being done and in play uh, you can see what it looks like once again in a final layout and I'd love to see your layouts go ahead and try this technique and share your layouts right here in this thread so we can see what you've learned and see um, uh, see maybe your ideas and your methods of uh, putting this technique to use